Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, the brand new version of Linux Mint has dropped, and today we're going to talk about the simple steps to upgrade. So they have created a blog post, so you can do this. There is creating a system snapshot, which if you follow my channel, you know, I generally don't do system snapshots because usually it's easier to just fix a system by reinstalling, extract the data that you need. Uh, but that is entirely up to you. It is possible to upgrade without the snapshot. We'll talk briefly about that. If you are a newer user, have a single computer, or you're more paranoid, use the system snapshot. There's no problem. You can look at our recent video on uh, Debian installing um, backups, and we talk about the time shift versus regular backups and all those things and what that means. Next is you're going to prepare for upgrade. If you have installed any extra applets, desktops, extensions, you're going to upgrade those from the system settings. And then we're going to upgrade the operating system. And then change the artwork, optional, if you want to change your upgrade for that. They do recommend a reboot of the computer, although people in the comments are saying that they didn't even need to do that. And then finally, reboot. Again, people said you uh, may not have to do that. There are a few issues that, that do come up. Obviously, the first is if the upgrade is not available to you, update the, uh, update the manager. Of course, this manager has not been updated for a while, so you'll see that there's no update available. So we'll need to upgrade the manager for that. The next one, latest version is not yet in your mirrors. Switch to the default repositories. So that is, of course, if you look at your software sources, uh, this is the spot where you can change your repositories. So, and I actually am still on the default on this one. So we're not going to make any changes there. But if you have made any of those changes, switch back to these default to do your upgrade. That's probably been resolved at this point in time, being as that this video is coming out a couple days later. And then occasionally, if it goes for a long time, you haven't wiggled your mouse, the screensaver might have kicked on and interfered with your uh, ability to uh, it'll lock you out. A uh, rare case, but it could actually happen. So just be aware of that. You might need to uh, hit your control alt f1 to log in to a user as a terminal and kill all cinnamon screensaver that's going to stop the screensaver from working switch back with f7 or you know control alt f7 or control alt f8 to get back to your session and you should be set to go so that is there now uh, there is a help document this is going back from 20 to 21 so it's a little old about doing the upgrade without creating a snapshot and there should be a setting in there so we're going to go ahead and look at that so our first step of course is going to be push the upgrades so you can see that we have a lot of upgrades to do uh, some of these are flat pack upgrades this is in the new feature of course this is the one we're using to test out different flashcard software and a few other things this is a Linux Mint build that I keep around in my virtual box for tutorials so we're gonna go ahead and do some upgrades and this could take a few minutes to get the upgrades done so here is the uh, these are the upgrades for the okay those are more upgrades for theming things like that we'll have to enter our password and then now this is going to run in the background and get things upgraded. So once our upgrade is set up, then we should have that option to upgrade the kernel. And we'll come back to the video when this is done upgrading. Our system is now up to date. And now we can have a look at our system over here. Here's our upgrade. We're going to check our preferences just really quick to see if they preferences for our upgrade are here but it does not appear to be so let's have a look over under our edit and upgrade to linux mint 21.2 so here is our information let's go ahead and hit next here's the release notes go ahead and hit next and then click on the link to browse new features we've already looked at that and now it says uh, it provides bug releases, features, sometimes introduce new issues. Upgrading always presents risk. Your data is safe, but new issues could potentially affect your operating system. Hit understand. I'd like to do that. And go ahead and hit apply. And now what it's going to do is it's going through and updating all of your packages. Okay, now that the downloads are all done, now it's going to be preparing the packages you'll notice there wasn't any settings or anything that prevented me from doing a 
uh, an update because I don't have Time Shift ins installed on this. At least I don't think I have Time Shift installed on this. I don't know. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, pull it up right now to look, but uh, chances are, since this is a, a working build machine for doing stuff, I probably don't. Hey, so the upgrade is done. I was looking at the log. I did notice a few things. Um, there were a few things like it didn't delete old empty system themes, and uh, that's kind of minor in the scope of things. Um, now it's going ahead and downloading some more packages. So I'm not sure exactly how many. So it did a first round of updates, uh, downloaded a bunch of things, and then it went ahead and overwrote. These ones here might be new files. I'm not 100% sure uh, what we're downloading here. It looks like just some, just some icons and uh, switcheroo control. That I don't know if that's that going to be. What is that for? I don't remember what that one's for. I think that might be a theming something. And now we are removing old icons and unpacking new icons and now we get a notification that the operating system was successfully upgraded reboot for changes to come into effect so we'll go ahead and reboot so we have successfully rebooted now it's not going to change any of our theming out of the box uh, a little bit on the folders that would appear. Uh, but what we might want to do if you want to take advantage of the new theming, of course, you can load up the welcome screen again and you can walk through these again. And this is the new theme color system. So if you want to go ahead and take advantage of the different theming options you have, you can go ahead and do that. And now we have our system is completely up to date. Let's see if we can grab our system info. Make sure that we are now on Linux Mint 21.2 and all of our system upgrades happened to occur correctly. And now there's one new update for uh, virtual machines, but we'll take care of that one later. So there's how you can upgrade your Linux Mint 21.1 to 21.2. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.